Hello, and thanks for taking the time to watch this short video about auto-enrolment. In this particular video, we'll be dealing with postponement from your staging date. I've spoken with a number of seasoned HR professionals who've told me that dealing with auto-enrolment can really feel like walking through treacle. And look, without assistance, you can easily get stuck. And that's precisely why we've put this video package together. Take postponement, for example. Postponement is one of those areas that should be relatively easy to get your head around. In essence, it enables you to delay your auto-enrolment duties for up to three months. Simple? Well, not exactly. You see, many people make the mistake of thinking about postponement as a sort of breathing space that allows everything to be put back for a while in order to save costs or have more time to deal with eligible job holders. In fact, the concept of postponement was actually introduced to allow companies to align the requirement of auto-enrolment with business practice. And this is how postponement should be considered. An employee, for instance, may begin their employment in the middle of the pay period rather than the start. Now, without postponement, the employee in question would be assessed and contributions deducted for only part of a pay reference period. And assuming they're an eligible job holder, would need to be auto-enrolled with effect from their joining date. This could mean making changes after the payroll cutoff date in order to collect the required contributions for the next pay date. To avoid this complication, an employer can apply a postponement period for up to three months and in so doing, align the auto-enrolment period with a full pay reference period and the pay date. And here lies the true value of postponement as a tool for levelling and not for snoozing. What's more, the misuse of postponement can have pretty serious consequences. As I mentioned earlier, postponement allows you to delay assessing and auto-enrolling employees for up to three months. But it's essential to remember that this means three months from your staging date. Even with postponement, you can't delay your actual staging date. That's the date by which you must be ready to communicate with the different categories of employees and deal with them opting into the pension scheme. If you miss your staging date, depending upon the size of your organisation, you could be fined up to £10,000 a day not great. So regardless of postponement, everything should still be up and running by your staging date. This includes any necessary changes to your pension scheme, employment contracts and please don't forget systems. Well that's it for now. If you're interested in finding out about how postponement works once your auto-enrolment scheme is actually up and running, you may wish to look at the second video in this series which deals with ongoing postponement. If you have any questions, please don't forget our advisors are on hand to help, so please do get in touch.